Okay guys, so the first thing we're going to do is I've drawn in the difference of uh, maybe the fur of the outline of the this cap on top. And a little bit at the at the wrists. And the rest of it we're going to we'll just paint a different color. So what we'll do is let's go with a little V cut on that line. We'll go all the way around. And this is completely a matter of preference. You can go higher up on the hat. You can come down lower onto the ears. You can come closer. So you don't have as big a gap representing the the actual fur. You can do whatever you want to do there. That's a little better. And we'll go down to these wrists. Just make a little B cut in there. Gently. Gently put it in there on the wrist. I want to cut a hand off. And we'll paint that a little bit different, a lighter shade. Give it the look of some fur. And we'll paint the rest of the coat and the rest of the hat a little darker color. Some of you may have noticed my, my new little flex cut knife. Working out 
pretty well. It allows me to get into some of these tighter spaces that I haven't been able to get into as easily. You learn that you work around some of your some of those issues whatever kind of knife that you've got. And I think I learned to to learn or learn to work around it even though I didn't really have a right knife to to do it with to make those cuts with. And I did put a little mouth on there while you while you weren't looking. I started to cut his the toes of his feet back, but I've come to I've come to like them, big feet. So I'm going to leave them as is. We might take just a little bit of this back off. It's still a little bit, a little bit heavy. We'll start at the top and cut in. Cut that top back first and we'll take a look at it. We may take some off the bottom as well. It's a little better. Now we'll we'll work on his eyes. I never know which which angle to. I usually lay it back here like this, and it seems like my light. Doesn't let you see as, as much as you need to, so I need to turn it up like this a little more often when I show what I've done. I'm surprised that some of you haven't complained about that more, because it does make it a little tougher to see when it's leaned back like this. I think it's a little better to see up here. All you got to do is throw it in the comments, guys. I'd love to hear them. All right, we'll come back and do the eyes. Okay, guys, so I'm going to use, and this is probably the first time you've ever seen me do this, but I use this little gouge, and I don't even know what size it is. This is, uh, this is from my uncle. If you've read any uh, or heard me talk about, I've got an uncle that, that's been carving for about 50 years and still going strong at it. A whole lot better than I am at it. But uh, we're going to try, we're going to put a little eye in here. on each side and I'm using just the I'm taking the half of the gouge all the way up to the eye socket the flat spot in the eye socket go a little deeper there And what I'm going to do is cut.
cut underneath that cut and leave the part that uh, we left for the eyeballs so we can have something to paint there. I've got a big old bumblebee in the garage after me. All right, guys. There he is. Pretty much finished up. I'm going to get out the... a little bit of oil on him and then we'll, we'll start painting him. All right, guys, so I opened the garage door, let the bee out, and Duke went out with the bee, I guess. I didn't know Duke went out. And so I've been wandering around looking for Duke, but he's back now. Okay. We're going to go go ahead and put full strength. We're going to put full strength on here because I thought maybe I just might leave him this color after I put the linseed oil on him. Just might. We'll see. But it does go on really well, really easily. And you get that color almost immediately. After you put it on, brings out all those all those uh, knife cuts. So we'll uh, we'll let him dry up, and we'll see what he looks like here in a little bit, and we'll go from there.
All right, guys, so I'm going to put a couple of drops of white in here. And we're going to go on and put some white in here on these eyes. We got some on his eye socket. Now, what I'm going to do with that white is I'm going to add just a little bit of let's use just a little bit of this burnt umber. Just a little bit from the toothpick, just to add to that white, just to hopefully bring it to an off-white color. And I'm going to fill the brush full of water and put it in here to, to mix it with just to water it down a little bit and we'll stay with this for now and when it goes over top of this linseed oil then it may darken it up enough to They give it the color that we want. So the fur color is going to be on the outside of the hat. And the collar and the lapel and the wrists. So let's see what we've got here. Okay, so I can tell right away that that's, that's going to be too light. So what we'll do is take this burnt umber and add some more. to it. Get us another little drop of water in here with it. I just want that outside, that fur looking area, just to be just a little off white, but in the same because we're going to make the rest of it dark, just a deep brown. That's a little more like it. My wife's texting me because one of the neighbors is, or at least one of the neighbors is texting about the the dog, Duke being 
running off. I hope I didn't darken this up too much as I wanted it to be lighter color and I got it on his face I'm gonna have to fix that Put it in here on his collar. I hope y'all can see what I'm doing here. <clears throat> So it doesn't matter a whole lot if we get it over on where we're going to paint it darker brown. As we can come back and cover that just on the face area there. We're going to have to get that and the, the little white spot that I got on his face. So now I'm going to take this brown, and this is a very hard to open the top brown. This is a deep, dark brown. We're probably going to need plenty. I've got several drops in there. This is more like a paste anyway. And I'm going to put several drops of water in here, probably six or seven. And we'll Blend that up. Blend that and we'll put it on, we'll save this top so we can hold him a little bit. Put it on the back.
to get the little brush out for this. Everybody's checking on old Dookie. Just a little brush here and see if we can't get into some of these little areas. And folks, if you're if you're not a carver. The painting side of the carve is just as delicate, if not more, than the carving itself. If you are a carver, you know what I'm talking about. But if you're not, Painting is a little more tedious, I think, than the carving itself. So, if you've got in mind that you want to do a little bit of carving and you want it to look good with the paint, Well, this is a whole nother side of it. It doesn't get talked about near as much as the carving. But it can be very difficult at times to get the look that you want or just to even get a, a decent look. The colors, colors do matter. Quite a bit. So what I'm saying is, if you're one of those folks that doesn't actually carve and would like to be prepared for the painting as well. All right. <clears throat> top here.
but uh, the upside to the painting for me was the fact that I did a lot of painting. I even had a little little side thing going on at one time that I'd painted usually interior but sometimes exterior parts of homes in the area. So what I'm getting at is I I didn't I don't mind to paint. If you hate painting, like some people do, then it makes it a little more difficult, I'm sure. Because not everybody is cut out to paint. All right, so what we're going to do is some shoes. Probably go with uh, this espresso that I normally use. Four shoes. It's a whole lot like the brown, but it's a little lighter. <clears throat> Probably make the, the soles black. Tell you what, let's dry him up before I get it everywhere and we'll come back. Alright, let's see if we can get get these shoes browned up. Or expressoed up is what the actual color is. You all have seen me, if you watch my videos, you've seen me use this. I like this expresso color. It's kind of a chocolatey, deep chocolatey color. Neighbors are having fun with their lawnmower. And if you bleed over onto the sole, it's fine. That black's going to cover pretty much everything. Alright, I'm going to dry that up and be right back. Okay, let's put a little black in here. Full strength.
And we're about getting getting done. All right, before we do anything else, we'll just take let's take this toothpick we've already used. Get this a little black in here. Shaky. All right, now let's dry him up too. Be right back. I appreciate you watching, guys. It didn't turn out too awful bad. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you on the next one.